you all are safe and fine now today we are going to continue our unit 1 definition of economics now in order to know learn the definition of economics first we know to know the meaning of economics so what is the meaning of economics we have already studied that economics studies deals with the study of economic activities that is production distribution exchange So 
problem of choice. So here, Adam Smith in his book, he gave us the prescribed definition of economics. Not only Adam Smith, other economists also gave their definition, gave their views on what economics is. They have different defined economics in different ways in their books and in their sciences. Now here we will be seeing how economics, how the nature and scope of economics is I mean, along with the definitions of the economists, give their definitions given by different economists. Now this definition of economics is given by various economists and they are of different names. That means first is wealth definition, second welfare definition, third is scarcity definition and fourth is growth definition. Now these four definitions are defined by different economists and wealth is defined by Adam Smith who is the father of our nation. Welfare is given by Alfred Marshall. Scarcity is given by Leonard Robbins. And growth is given by the Nobel Prize winner, Professor A. Samuelson. Right. 
But we can think of this whole life where man is treated as selfish, where he is going to acquire more and more wealth. So, as per the definition of Adam Smith, he as he has regarded economics as a wealth of nation, as a good which are produced, which are regarded as wealth. So now this definition was criticized by different economists, saying that whatever definition has been given by Adam Smith is not the complete point. He is not true to the point. So that's why this definition was criticized on the following grounds. Now this definition was criticized by Kali, Raskin and other criticisms who have said that wealth is not only a, a good which is produced, they have only discussed about the ordinary man's life and have neglected the economic man. So they are only, it has to be treated as an ordinary man, that means every person, whether he is in an economic activity or not, which should be regarded, regarded as to earn wealth.
resources. So with the this, we can specify the definition given by Leonard Robbins. Also was criticized. Now we we'll see the definition given by Professor A. Samuelson as as a growth definition. All 
Thank you, children.